How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another ARC Let's Build video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this Argentavis aviary that you see in front of you now. And for those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with real easy to follow along instructions so you can get this build on your ARC. And for all of the building materials you will need for the build, as well as the map cords where I built this, make sure you check out the description below. And also guys, the paint scheme and decorations for this build were all done by You Were A Monkey, so I'm going to leave some links in the description as well in the comments. Go check out her video showing off the paint and the decorations that she did on this build, and of course guys, show her some love for her hard work. And as far as how many Argents you can fit in this build guys, you can comfortably fit up to 16, but you could even probably pack a few more in if you really wanted to. But anyways, guys, I just want to go ahead and tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is lay down our foundation. So we're going to start off by placing a 4x4 four four stone foundation. So we'll just go in here and lay down a row of four stone foundations. And then we'll just add three more rows of four here in front of that. Then you can go ahead and right now we're going to start on this side. We're going to skip one foundation in and place a stone triangle foundation. And then we're just going to add two more attached to that to give us something that looks like this. And then you can go ahead and do that on the other three sides as well. And that will complete the foundation of our build. So just go ahead and switch all of those normal foundations to block. Alright, next we're going to go ahead in here to one of our corners where we have the normal stone foundation and we're going to place a wooden fence foundation on each side of this right here. So one right here and another one right here that actually placed down in the ground. We want to make sure it places up on top. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and snap nine stone pillars to all three sides of these snap points. So we'll place nine right here. We'll place nine right here on the corner. And then we'll place nine more right here in this corner. So now that we have those placed, you can go ahead around and do this on the other three corners as well. All right, so now that we have nine high pillars on all of those positions, we're gonna go back into any of the corners and we're going to add one more on this one right here and also this one right here. And then on the most out one right here, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden pillar. So that'll give us something that looks just like this. So go ahead and do that on the other three corners as well. All right, next we're gonna head into whichever side we're choosing as the front of our build. So I'm gonna use this side right here. And on this triangle foundation right here at the front, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone door frame and then fill that in with a reinforced door. Then we're just gonna go around the remainder of our foundation. We're going to place one high stone walls on every foundation. Now, one thing to be careful for is that you're not snapping it to the fence foundation, that you are actually snapping to the foundation. So you see this one's on the fence foundation, so we'll pick it back up and just try again. Now we're going to go ahead inside of our build to this back corner right here. So if this is our door over there, it's this far corner right here. And we're going to go ahead and place down an electric generator right here. And what we want to do is we want to kind of force it into the wall a little bit so that it's just barely sticking out of the wall. Then go ahead and start placing it, but go ahead and spin it around 
so that the side that's going to have the connector on it is inside of that wall, just like this. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. This is all gonna be hidden under here. So then we're gonna go ahead and place a vertical electrical cable coming up from it. Now just go ahead, get the cable out. You might not be able to see it because it's inside the pillar, but just trust that you're placing it down and then go ahead and place an electrical box on top of that. And there you have it. We have an electrical box right there. It's a little bit sticking out, but for the most part, it's hidden in that pillar. So now we can go ahead and get in our generator, throw some gas in it real quick and turn it on. And you can see we have power going up to that electrical outlet right there. So then in the inside here, we're also just going to go ahead and throw down a feeding trough just roughly in the center of our build. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect because it is going to be covered up and this will provide food to all of the Argens throughout the build. All right, so that is essentially just a basement area to keep our generator and our feeding trough. And you can also keep some storage and stuff down there if you would like. Now we're gonna go ahead and put a ceiling above this. So we're gonna start off by coming in here where we have the triangle foundations. We're just gonna cover these up with stone triangle ceilings. So there we go. Now you can go around to the other three sides and do the same thing. And then we're just going to go ahead and of course fill in with regular ceilings here all across the middle. Now we are going to come back in here to the front and we're going to go over here to this side and right above this stone wall right here we're going to add a greenhouse door frame. And then fill that in with a greenhouse door. And then we're going to add three greenhouse walls on top of it to give us this right here. We're going to do the same thing in this spot right here. Then we will just go ahead around the rest of the build and on all of the corners, we will add four high greenhouse walls on the remaining sides. Next, we're gonna come in in front of where we placed that greenhouse door right here, and we're going to add a thatch ceiling. Then with that thatch ceiling placed, we're gonna get out a metal door frame, and we're going to rotate the snap point using the appropriate button or key for whichever system you're playing on. So go ahead and rotate that until you get something that looks like this, and then just place it down. And then you can go ahead and add three more on top of it doing the same thing. Once you have those placed, go ahead and pick up or destroy your thatch. And there you'll see you have that placed and nothing gets destroyed and it looks, it adds a little bit of a frame to our window. So go ahead around and do this in front of all of the greenhouse walls or door frames. All right, so now we're gonna head in here to our stone triangle ceilings, and we're gonna go ahead and place a stone railing on top of each one of these. Now just be careful and make sure you're placing them at the same height. Then you can go ahead around to the other three sides and do the same thing. Now we're going to go ahead and fill in the ceiling for our second floor. So we're going to start off by heading to this inside back corner right here. So if this is the front of our build over there, underneath those triangle ceilings is our door. This would be our back corner. So right here, we're going to start off by placing a wooden hatch frame and then fill that in with a reinforced trap door. Then we'll go ahead and place three wooden ceilings coming across this back line. On the next spot, we're going to go ahead and place a wooden ceiling right here. Then we will skip these next two spots and add another one right here. We'll do the same thing for this row right here. So skip these two middle ones, add one right there. And then we will add four more coming across the front here. Make sure you're placing them in the same direction as the other ones we've already placed. So again, just add four more coming across the front here. 
Then we're gonna go ahead and fill in this middle gap with a giant stone hatch frame. Make sure you're getting it so that it lines up perfectly in the middle like this right here. So go ahead and place that down. And then the last thing we're gonna do is come to the outside here. And right here in the middle, we're going to add three wooden triangle ceilings right above our stone platforms that we have down below. Go ahead and do this on the other three sides as well. Now on this inside corner where we have our generator poking up through and we have our trap door up above, we're just gonna go ahead and drop four wooden ladders coming down from that trap door so that we can go ahead and get to the second level. And then also right here above our generator, we're gonna go ahead and add a remote keypad just above the electrical outlet right here. And there you'll see that's powered up and good to go. Once we have our hatch frame at the top, we can go ahead and use that to open our hatch frame. All right, now here on the second floor where we have these wooden triangle ceilings, we're gonna go ahead and again, place a stone railing on top of each of these, and then go ahead around and do this on the other three sides as well. All right, so now with those placed on top, we're gonna to come underneath of the wooden triangle ceilings and add another stone railing right here on this snap point. Go ahead and place one right here and right here as well. Then we're going to go ahead and add another row just above those like this. And that'll give you something that looks like this. So go ahead around and do that on the other three sides as well. Next, we're gonna come back down to the bottom floor where we have these railings right here, and we're gonna add a thatch ceiling out in front of them like this. Then we're gonna get out a stone double door frame, and we're again gonna be rotating the snap point, and the snap point we're gonna be looking for is gonna be a little bit darker green. It's gonna be this one right here. You can tell it's a little bit more of a vibrant green. So go ahead and place that down, and then add two more on top to reach the railings above, and then go ahead and pick up or destroy your thatch. So now we're going to come over here to this side and do the same thing. So place your ceiling, get out your double door frame and rotate it around until we find this snap point, add two more, and then pick up or destroy your thatch. Then just go ahead around the rest of the build and do the same thing on our other three sides. Next, we're going to go ahead in here to our corner and we're going to add four more greenhouse walls coming up from the ones below. So make sure you're on this snap point right here on the greenhouse walls, not the metal door frames, and just place four more like that. Now go ahead and do this on all of our corners on each side. Next, we're gonna go ahead in front of those greenhouse walls and get out a metal door frame again, and then go ahead and rotate the snap point like we did before using the appropriate key or button for whichever system you're on. And once you have this snap point right here, go ahead and place that down and then add three more on top of that one. Then you can just go ahead around to the other three corners and do the same thing on both sides of each corner. Now we're gonna go ahead and start building up our roof. So first, right here above our greenhouse walls on the front, we're gonna add a line of wooden ceilings coming across the front like this. We'll go ahead and continue taking this to the back here along the side. Add another line here on the back like this. And then bring this back around on this side to the front, leaving that gap in the middle for our argins to fly out. Then we're gonna go ahead to the outside here and again add three more wooden triangle ceilings right here on the outside above those platforms that we have down below. 
So just go ahead and do this on all of our sides. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get out our stone railings again. And this time on the topmost floor, we're not gonna be placing any above. We're just gonna add those two rows down below right here. So go ahead and place two there, two here in the middle, and then two more on this side. Now go ahead around to the other three sides and do the same thing. Now we're going to head back into our second floor where we have those stone railings and we're again going to place a thatch ceiling in front of them here on the side. Get out a stone double door frame and again go ahead and rotate the snap point until you get this one right here, the more vibrant green snap point. Go ahead and add two more on top of that and then go ahead and pick up your thatch ceiling. Go around to this other side right here and do the same thing on this side. And then once you have this side done, just go ahead around to our other three sides of our build and do the same thing. All right, so now continuing on our roof, we're gonna to come to our front side, so where we have our doors down below, and we're gonna place a wooden wall right here, as well as right here. Then we're gonna place a wooden ceiling on top of each of those. Then here on this side, we're going to add a wooden triangle ceiling, and then just add six more attached to that going along the side. Now we'll add two more wooden ceilings here on the back. And then we'll place seven more wooden triangle ceilings on this side over here. Next, we're going to come into each one of these ceilings and just drop one wooden wall down from each ceiling. Now on the top of the front where we have these wooden triangle ceilings right here, we're going to go ahead and snap wooden triangle roofs to them, rotating the snap point so that they place upward like this. So go ahead and do this on all three spots. We're going to go ahead over here to the side and do this over here as well. Now there's going to be one thing that comes out a little bit different over here. And if this happens to you, unfortunately, just go ahead and pick this back up and keep trying from different angles to get it pointing upwards. Unfortunately, triangle roofs are one of those things that just sometimes they don't want to work right. But once you have all three placed, you'll notice here there is a gap. I'm going to show you in a little bit how we're going to fill that in. So just go ahead on these other two sides and place these triangle roofs pointing upwards towards the middle. Next, we're going to go ahead into this top corner right here between our pillars, and we're just going to add a stone railing on each side of each corner. So go ahead around and do this on the other three sides. Then on our sides that we have the gap, so right here, we're going to place another stone railing right down in there. Do the same thing over here, and then just add one on top of each of those, and only do this on the sides that have the gap. Then while we have our stone railings out, we're going to head inside here and we're going to add two high stone railings to each one of these ceilings just to fill in the gap between our two ceilings. All right, so the next thing we're going to do for our roof is we're going to head in here to this open square that we have here in the center, and we're just going to add a stone double door frame on each one of these snap points going around the square. Now 
Next, we're gonna come over to our side where we have those normal wooden ceilings, and we're gonna place a wooden stair coming down from each of these stone double door frames. Go ahead around and do this on the opposite side as well. Next, we're gonna get out a thatch ceiling, and we're gonna place that right above the right side stair, just like this. And that is going to allow us to then place a sloped wooden roof right here underneath the stairs. Do that again right here under this one as well. And then go ahead and pick up your thatch and everything will remain and we have this nice pattern right here on our roof. So go ahead around to this side and do the same thing over here. Next we're going to head over to the sides and we're going to place seven wooden triangle roofs on each side. So starting here on the corner we're going to place this one pointing upward. And again guys these roofs can be pretty finicky so if it doesn't place correctly just pick it up and try again from another angle. So there we go, that one placed correctly. Now we're gonna go ahead and place two right here in the center coming down like this. So add another one right here. And then go ahead and fill in the remainder spots on this side with ones that are pointing upward. And again, if they don't place correctly, just pick them up and try again. Then once you get all of these ones placed on this side, go ahead around to the other side and do the exact same thing. And then finally, the last thing we have to do here on the top is go ahead into the center portion and add a giant stone hatch frame right here in the center. Again, make sure you're getting that center placement and then go ahead and fill that in with a giant reinforced trap door. Then we're just going to go ahead and add a stone railing all the way around this rim. Now we're going to go ahead and build up our staircases here at the front. So we're going to start off by placing a stone foundation right here in front of this wall. Now if you have no clip enabled, go ahead and place another one right here to the right of that one, intersecting with this foundation we've already placed. Go ahead and add one more to the side of that. And then just place this one last one right here in front of this wall. Go ahead and switch all of these to block. Now if you're on official settings, you won't be able to place these middle two, but they're really just an extra detail. They don't actually matter for the build. Now on these side foundations, we're going to go ahead and place the appropriate sloped stone wall on each side of them. Like this. Go ahead and do this on this one as well. Now I'll go ahead and add a stone stair in between those on each side. And then go ahead and add a row of four stone stairs coming across our front right here. And then we're going to go ahead and add two wooden railings coming down the outside stairs. And one wooden railing right here on the inside. Go ahead and do that on this side as well. Alright, so now for the final step of our build, we're going to head into the second floor, and this is really optional. It's up to you if you want to add one of these on the second floor. We're going to go ahead and right above where we have our keypad down below, we're just going to add another one up here on the second floor so that we would be able to open our hatch frame using a keypad from either floor. So now we're going to go ahead into this keypad and we're going to go into our options menu right here. And it has been a while since I've done this, but I think it's the, is it the activate? No, it's the, I think it's the set pin code. So we're going to go ahead and set the pin code first. Go ahead and just set that to whatever you want. Then we're going to go ahead to our hatch frame up here and do the same thing. Set it to the same pin code up here. And then of course you would also do this down on the most bottom floor pin code as well down there on that keypad. But just go ahead and go to activate open, hit the last right here at the bottom and you'll see it opens up our hatch frame up there perfectly so we can fly our origins out. And then you can go ahead and deactivate close, do the same thing, and you'll see it closes it up nicely as well. 
All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now, You Were a Monkey is going to go ahead. She's going to do her decorating and painting magic. We're going to go ahead and bring some Argents in and fill this thing out so you guys can see what it looks like with all of the Argents inside. So anyways, guys, hang around for one more second, and I'll show you what she comes up with. All right, guys, so like I said, You Were a Monkey has hooked us up with an awesome paint scheme. She's also done a little bit of decorations now with these kind of more compact pens. There's not that much decorating that you can really do, but she has thrown a few things in here just to spice it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and first check out her paint scheme. So she's used a lot of different colors to come up with this paint scheme. I think it looks really unique and really cool. Make sure guys, again, go check out her video on the paint scheme and the decorations to get more details on what exactly she did. She also hooked us up with some plants here on the outside to give us a little more color and also some protection around our pen. And then she also built this really cool looking Arjun statue because you got to have a statue to let you know what kind of pen you're getting into. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this build. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Those help my videos get out there, which obviously helps the channel grow. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future arc Let's Build videos. And I'll say it one more time, guys, go check out You Are a Monkey's channel and her video on this build as well and show her some love for all the hard work she puts in helping me out on these builds. And if you did use this build, guys, go ahead and check out the description below for some links to my social media and go ahead and hit me up on one of those platforms with pictures of the build on your arc. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video and have a great day.